Let's configure a wireless backhaul between access points. Open your Insight account and click on the location you want to configure a wireless backhaul. On the upper menu, click on Wireless and on the upper right, click on Settings. And on this new page, the left menu, Advanced, click on Mesh. First thing, we need to change the mode of this system to a Mesh mode. Insight will pop up a window asking you to confirm you're happy to change the mode. Is the mode. For now, we are asking Insight to automatically decide which devices will be acting as routes and which devices will be acting as satellites. A pop-up window comes for you to confirm you're happy with your decision. And in just a few seconds, we can now check on the topology of that specific location that some devices are now acting as a root access point and others as satellites. As you can see, the WAX630 is being the root of the WAC610. And on the top here, the WAX610Y is being the root for the WAX620. If you wish to further configure this, you can click on a specific device. In this case, we will click on the WAC610. Open its configuration, and on the left, you will find the mesh topology settings. Right now, Insight confirmed that the WAC610 is only working as a repeater. On this gear symbol on the upper right, if you wish, you can assign that this device will only work as a repeater. Insight also gives you the possibility to choose manually which devices will be the root of this satellite and which frequency bands you want to dedicate for this wireless backhaul. Once you're happy with your choices, click on Save. Go back to the wireless dashboard, and here you can already see how the devices are behaving. Let's further configure and let's deactivate the mesh capabilities of, for example, the WAX610Y, our outdoor. If you don't want a specific access point to work or to join the mesh system, you can deactivate that specific device mesh capabilities. Once again, inside will pop up a window asking you to confirm you're happy with your choices, so you can press save and confirm. Now, let's check the topology after the latest changes. If you see the full stack coming from the internet service provider, going through the routers, getting to the switches, are now hitting the WB750 that is acting as a root AP for the two satellites in this mesh system. Please note that the WAX610Y on the top is not joining the mesh system and it's only getting its data from a wired connection from the switch.